is that the album was put on vinyl, and uh, of course, you know, they don't make vinyl anymore. And so that's why it's an important, important project because we're going to put the album on CD where people can get their hands on it. Uh, I've gotten a lot of responses about people who write to me and ask me about certain songs and where can I get it. And unfortunately, there is no place you can get it but here. <laughs> so I'm inviting you to become part of it. You know, pressing the CD or repressing the CD is very important, not only to me, but for all those people who grew up with it. Uh, my CISO meant to be very special to people out there. And I'm hoping that this fundraiser, this new CD, this anniversary CD, will be able to bring back a piece of the 1970s and the struggles that we went through in those early years and that brought people together through music. Well, when, when I was first approached on doing the album, commercially, I was really thrown because uh, all my life I spent working with a theater company called Teatro Capacino, the Farm Workers Theater. And my experience has always been on the stage performing for farm workers. And so doing this album for me, I mean, I had no idea of the kind of audience we were going to reach. I know what I felt in terms of the songs that I wrote. I saw myself as a singer of songwriter, and uh, I wrote my own songs, and I, I played my own songs. And so, you know, I hadn't realized that I was part of a generation that was really trying to express itself. This album is really about a generation that not only went on to, to do great things and to make changes in the country, but to have children and to pass on the traditions of that generation. Cuando amanezca la tarde, vuelvo cansado a mi hogar. As an artist, you know, you develop, you, you evolve, and after being a, really a, a protest singer, if you want to call him that, uh, and becoming a com commercial artist, I mean, it was a, a very big step for me. My music has always been number one in terms of my development as an artist. I'm, I'm an actor as well and a producer. Uh, produced La Bamba in the film, uh, and I've done many other different albums, uh, done some with different people. Uh, I did an album called Canciones de Mi Padre with Linda Ronstadt, uh, which was appealing to me because it really appealed to the ethnic Me Mexican side of who I am, and it certainly it appealed to Linda's Mexican side. You know, for one, I didn't know who Linda Ronstadt was was even anywhere even similar to an ethnic. So. It was a real pleasure and a real surprise to find out that she was Latina. And she was a pocho, just like me. So I, I have followed my career as a performer and really as a, a songwriter. And it's, it's evolved. It's, it's gone from filmmaking to doing soundtracks. Because uh, I like to record soundtracks for movies as well, uh, as well as acting. Uh, but music has always been my number one love, and uh, I'll always continue to come back to it. Little Words is, is about my son, my firstborn, Emiliano. He's the one on the album cover. Uh, he was very special to me because he's my firstborn. But it was his little smile and the little things that he said, the little words that he would say to me that would fill me up inside, you know, and reminded me of what I was doing, what I was doing things for. And that little smile of, of his, which still gets me, yeah. It was very powerful in terms of my identification with family, and I saw myself in, in my son. And so the little words of love are really the words that we exchange with one another. And so it's really a lullaby that I wrote for my boy, you know, and I love him very much. I think Mesis was important because uh, it's, a, it's a reminder of where we came from and our awareness. We have a whole generation of Latinos nowadays that don't have any idea as to where they came from, or whether fathers or mothers, what they struggled for, and getting what, what, what they have now. And it's very important because it's an introspective look at who we were, and it was a really re-identification with culture. And it was an important point because it was the first time Latinos really got a chance to look at themselves and say, wait a minute, uh, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm a mestizo. I am, I am a result of several cultures put together, and therefore, I am what I am, you know, and mestizo is, is really the word that ties us all together. To tell the world she's home again.